I saw this really cool post on the Ask Math subreddit where a student shared this homework problem and said they were completely stumped. We have a river shown by the thick blue horizontal line. Then there are two cities, Westville and Eastville, on the same side of this river. Westville is four miles away from the river, and Eastville is seven miles away. Also, these two cities are ten miles apart, measured along a straight line running parallel to the river. Now, both towns want to share a single water station, which will be built somewhere along the river. Then they'll each lay down a straight pipe from their city to the station. Their goal is to minimize the total length of these two pipes, meaning they want the sum of both pipe lengths to be as short as possible. So the big question is, at what point along the river should the water station be built so that the total length of pipe needed is the smallest? Let's test a few different positions for the station and see how the total length of the pipes changes. First, suppose we put the station right in the middle of the 10-mile width, that is, 5 miles from Westville's vertical line and 5 miles from Eastville's. The distance from the station to Westville would then be the square root of 4 squared plus 5 squared, which is square root of 41. That's about 6.4 miles. For Eastville, the distance would be the square root of 7 squared plus 5 squared, which is square root of 74, roughly 8.6 miles. So the total pipe length in this case is about 6.4 plus 8.6, which is 15 miles. Now let's try a station a bit closer to Westville, say at 2 miles from Westville and 8 miles from Eastville. Now the pipe to Westville is square root of 4 squared plus 2 squared, which is square root of 20, about 4.5 miles. The pipe to Eastville is square root of 7 squared plus 8 squared, which is square root of 113, around 10.6 miles. Total is 4.5 plus 10.6, or 15.1, which is more than 15. What if we put the station very close to Eastville, say at 9 miles from Westville, and just 1 mile from Eastville? On solving, we get the length as 16.9 miles. So as we can clearly see, the total pipe length depends on where you place the station. Some positions give a smaller total, Others give a larger one. The challenge is to find the exact spot that gives the absolute shortest total pipe length. Now many people will tell you, let the length of this piece, which we are interested in finding out, be x. So the length of this piece will be 10 minus x, right? Thus, using Pythagoras' theorem, length of this piece will be square root of x square plus 4 square and the length of this piece will be equal to the square root of 10 minus x whole square plus 7 square. Thus, the total length will be this plus this. Now, simply differentiate this distance with respect to x and equate it with 0 to get this. Finally, solving this equation, and we are done. Although this method is completely correct and will eventually give you the right answer, it involves heavy algebra and calculus which can make the problem feel more mechanical and less intuitive. But by using a simple and clever trick, we can solve the same problem using just geometry and a bit of smart thinking without getting into complex formulas or differentiation. Imagine reflecting Eastville across the river so that the new reflected Eastville is now seven miles above the river. Now, instead of connecting the station to each town separately, we draw a single straight line from Westville to the reflected Eastville like this. The point where this line crosses the river is where the station should be built. This is because the shortest path between two points is a straight line, and this line represents the combined shortest route to both towns using two straight pipe segments. We get two right-angled triangles. Both of these triangles share the same angle at the river, and both have one right angle. That means they are similar triangles because they have two equal angles. Since the triangles are similar, their sides are in proportion. This means four or this length over this side length or x equals seven 
or this length over this side length, or 10 minus x. Cross multiply to get 4 times 10 minus x equals 7x, or 40 minus 4x equals 7x. Take 4x here to get 7 plus 4 or 11x equals 40, and thus x equals 40 over 11, which is nearly 3.64 miles. And that's it. By the way, can you let me know in the comments what the total length of this pipe will be? If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Also, you can support my channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good!